have a box. And inside it, wonders. Well, not quite. Let's see what's in here. Thanks for joining me, um, as you hopefully, or don't, already know. My name's Tommy, uh, one half of Talking Board Games. We don't have any talking board games, though. We should get some. Well, I guess werewolf would count, right? Okay, cool. Dynasty Invasion, probably the thing I'm looking forward to most. Got some extra Dynasty stuff. Kami Unbound. Monster Pack. And whatever this is, probably the base game, I would assume. Just kidding. <laughs> I know it's not. Let's get all this trash out of here. Oh. oh, wow. What a nice little gift. I uh didn't actually order that. So, cool. I'll take it. I wonder if I threw the coins in here too. That'd be pretty sweet. I have the greatest showman stuck in my head right now. So if I start humming a million dreams or something, just bear with me. All right, well, let's see what's inside these boxes. All right, I think it makes enough sense that we should just start with the base box. Um, so this pretty ugly artwork. Um, I'm being sarcastic. I feel like I should say that because sometimes I say stuff on here and we get some comments where people are correcting me or telling me that I'm wrong. I think the artwork is beautiful. So let's take this plastic off. We'll be putting this up for sale if anybody uh, wants some of this. Just some packing plastic. Um, Alright. Wow, have you ever seen such a glorious rule book? Look at those pages, the pictures. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, moving on. We got some sweet little minis here. Oh, my box is ripped. This is, un I'm returning this. This is unacceptable. I have a knife here, don't I? I watched another unboxing of this where someone was saying that Simon uses a lot of tape on these. I don't have anything to compare that to, but this is quite a bit of tape. It's a pretty cool miniature. Pretty sweet. Got some extra cards in here. stab myself so should probably do that off camera otherwise we might have to put like a maturity rating or something on here all right let's see what we got in here um, looks like we got quite a few different sets in one thing so that's pretty cool got some nice cards some nice monster stuffs pretty great sorry this isn't facing you I'm a terrible unboxer all right, look at all that. Pretty great stuff. I'm super excited to play this game. I know you can tell by the tone in my voice. Got some extra plasticky markers. There's probably something in here. Oh, I hate this. Ah, I hate this sound. That wasn't actually that bad. Check those out. Oh man, those are beautiful. Look at that guy. Got a sword, that's why I'm making those sounds. Yeah, good times. Cannot wait to get this to the table. I'm not gonna look at all the miniatures. There are plenty of unboxings that do that for you. Just know that they are beautiful. All right, let's see what's in here. I don't know where to start. 
How beautiful is that? Huh? Actually, it's pretty gross. He's got like bodies hanging from it. It's kind of disgusting. How about this? That's pretty sweet. Oh man. I cannot wait to play this. Uh, have I said that yet? Got some plastic coins. I guess they had an, a few extra art books. Maybe that's why they sent that to me. It was awfully nice of them though. Maybe it's because I was the last person in Utah to get a copy of Rising Sun. Practically. All right, and then just a bunch of plastic. Uh, we got some clan screens here. We got board. I hope you enjoy looking at the bottom of an empty box. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this, look at this. Look at all this cardboard goodness. Of course, as you know from my last unboxing, all this cardboard punch out stuff, that's gonna be saved for my wife. But these clan screens are pretty nice. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping for some kind of stretch goal the whole time that was going to upgrade the clan screens, but they're good for what they are. I mean, they got uh, pretty much everything that you need to know about your clan and all that stuff. Look at this board, though. Holy cow. I don't know if I can maybe open it halfway or one part. This is a big board. I don't know. Man, this is going to take up a lot of space. Oh. Wow, that is beautiful. This is way nicer in person, by the way. Anybody who's seen like a hundred unboxings, this looks way better in person. The colors are beautiful, and it's a really nice material. Linen finish on the board. Absolutely beautiful. All right, moving on. Oh, stretching. And base game put away. Let's move on to the Dymeo box. So this is supposed to be able to hold all of the Kickstarter extra stuff that we got. Um, not including the Dynasty Invasion expansion. So that's still supposed to remain in the uh, Dynasty Invasion uh, box. A little beat up on the edge there. My boxes tend to be like that though, so that's nothing new. This is the Fox Clan. I think this is one of the ones I'm most excited to play. This one can like enter any battle, which is super cool. Um, got some really nice tokens here. Wow, these are nice. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at those. Look at how nice those are. If only you could hold them. These are a much different material than I thought they were going to be. Um, I think I thought they were going to be a little bit heavier. But I, I, I like the material that they are. Um, I think maybe I was thinking they would be the same material as like Mahjong tiles. If you're familiar with those. These are not, however. Um, and then we got some more sweet minis. Okay, it's a little beat up, but it's okay. Hopefully it still does its job. Let's see if I can open these for y'all. Ben provided me with the, uh, the dullest knife he could find. <laughs> Trying to make him laugh, but uh, he's sitting off camera over here critiquing me. I'm too professional to laugh. Oh, there's there he is. There he is. Everybody say hi to Ben. Ben, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. 
He was I'm also, present. Uh, keeping the camera from falling. <laughs> if there would be an extra bump to the table or something. Somebody gets too excited. Yeah. Um, okay, so Ben was actually present in our last video, but he was the cameraman there as well. This is the um, player formerly known as Godzilla. They wanted to call him Daikaiju, which is probably fine. This is a cool color. I like these minis. All these minis are very, very good. And mine are relatively straight. I don't know if they're perfectly straight, but I mean the plastic that Simon uses isn't especially uh, I don't know how to... It doesn't stay straight. It's pretty bendable. Like these wings. These wings are supposed to be up there. Probably throw that in some hot water at some point. Probably not until I played the game at least 50 times or so. Alright. We got some more stuff over here. This is really just extra um, stuff. There's nothing like game breaking about the stuff in here. Or even game changing really. It's more for a presentation. Um, that's this box, pretty much. Gosh, the tape is astounding. Every night I lie awake. Ah, perfect. Oh, these are nice. I'm surprised these aren't... Wow, these are interesting plastic. It's not quite a... Uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit more... Uh, maybe like the Mandate tiles, but these are not. These are more of like a grippy plastic. But it's also not double-sided, which I thought they were going to be. Um, not that that's a big deal. But here's some turtle strongholds, which are amazing. And here are some extra strongholds that fit right on top. So, that's pretty cool. And everybody was giving Simon crap about the Ronin tokens being too yellow. I <laughs> couldn't care less. Alright, we'll put those back on top there. Find a spot for that. I'll pick that up later. We do have some extra season cards in here. So I'll try to get these open for you. Apparently I don't have to try very hard. <clears throat> Alright, so these are uh, monsters, it looks like. Phoenix is super cool. If it's killed, you gain a victory point and return it to the same province immediately. Which is kind of cool. Uh, this guy allows you to win the province, re province harvest reward even if you don't take the harvest. Um, super excited to play with all these guys. Super excited. Cannot wait. Uh, let's put those back. We'll clean that up in just a bit. Okay. Get that out of shot. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. And then you got some more bases in here, a ton more bases. There's, uh, it looks like a mini base for each other clan, as well as some extra bases for the fox clan, the uh, other stuff. Move all this out of the way. All right, I think we'll move on to the monster pack. I'm gonna try to keep this under 15, but I don't think I'm on time for that, so. Might go a little bit longer than I'm anticipating. I think I'm actually probably right at 15 with the intro. Alright, here we go. Now a lot of people had a disconnected Joro Gumo. So let's see if mine is disconnected. Oh, she's smaller than I thought she would be. But, she looks connected. So that's good. And it looks like there's also some extra bases in here. Oh man, these minis are 
sweet. Look at that thing. Look at that. It's a freaking spider lady. This is probably one of my favorite minis. I don't know why. But it's cool looking. It's a tree of skulls. It's awesome. Okay, that's the monster pack. There's about four monsters in here. Um, obviously they're season cards and then rules of how to implement extra monsters um, if you want. Um, I will pack that one away though because it's pretty easy to put back in the box. We got a couple more boxes. Now this is the Kami Unbound, and what this does is it adds. Um, initially, they had some uh, rules for it where you could like sacrifice some Shinto that were worshiping the Kami, and you would get like some crazy added benefit. Um, like you could take a harvest by doing somebody or you could, I don't remember all the cool stuff, but it seemed like a really cool addition. Um, after the fact they had changed some things and they basically made it, from what I understand, a lot more like the gods of Asgard. So, I don't think it has the same feel that the gods of Asgard do because from what I understand those don't really move all that much and they're not really switching hands or anything it's basically just whoever's the strongest I haven't played with it uh, so I, I don't know exactly um, but this is a little different where control is shifting throughout the game and um, some of them do some stuff um, you've also got a lot more than you did in Blood Rage. You play with uh, four of them, but they also count as force for you, so that's pretty cool. And then there's an extra set of season cards in here as well, which is always good for more replayability. Um, let's take these Kami out, show you a couple of these. They're pretty small. Um, these are probably on par with some of the uh, uh, Character, uh, faction, people, yeah. clan, dudes. So it's not like they're the size of the monsters or anything, and you can probably see that just by looking at this. A piece of tape stuck in my hand. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip all this into the dynasty box right away. Um, this is the biggest base one. He's pretty cool looking. Wind. Um, but yeah, these guys are pretty small. I mean, I have pretty big hands, but that's pretty small. Um, and I think I thought these were going to be a little bit bigger. I, I, I know you can see like on the Kickstarter page and stuff that they put it next to something for comparison, but I guess I didn't pay attention. Um, so I will put that back in the Dynasty, or the Daimyo box, rather. Alright, one more. Maybe I'll even show you all how to do that. This shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Alright, now this has quite a few extra clans, or I guess two to be exact, but I'm excited to play with both of them. Um, also has a rule sheet, as well as some punch-out boards from McKenna, some clan screens, and, wouldn't you know it, an extra set of season cards. So I think altogether there's either four or five, I didn't count exactly all of them. Um, but it's interesting, you look at this set of season cards and it still has monsters, and why that's interesting is because 
the um, Sun and Moon clan found in the Dynasty Invasion actually can't use the same monsters as everybody else. They have to use the uh, the Lucky Gods, and these do. Um, they're the only ones that can buy them, but they're pretty cool looking. Um, I'm excited to play with them. Like I said, got some extra tokens here, and then some of, in my opinion, the coolest clan minis come in this expansion. I just gotta find where the tape is. Man, this is brutal. <laughs> Sorry that there's nothing on screen. It's, it's tape is killing me here. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna drop the card all over the place. Take it to the other side so you can do like me. Uh, I don't know where that went, so we'll just put him right back there. Now these guys are also very small. Um, they're nice looking. Like this guy's got a friggin' fish on his back. That's cool. Um, but these guys are definitely a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be too. They're 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 not quite like the uh, like the monsters in in the base game. Look at that guy. Man, so cool. And then there's a guy over here on a tree. This is probably one of my favorite minis. He's so cool looking. And they got some Sun, Sun Clan stuff as well. These guys look cool also. Super excited. Super, super excited to get this whole game played. Cannot wait. We will be playing it later tonight, possibly a hundred or so times. We'll have to see. All right, so let's see what I can do about this. So if you already have yours and you don't know, this is an extra box, or this is, they come with, this Dynasty Invasion, or the Daimyo box, I'm sorry, comes with an insert on the bottom for extra stuff. I think this is the only one. This is supposed to fit the. Let's see if I can knock these out in the right spot right away. Obviously not. Holy cow! Where's this guy go? There maybe. That's for him. So you could do like me. I think there's probably a rules instruction set up here. In here somewhere, but I don't know where that is. And then you've also got the monster pack. It's also supposed to fit in here. And that is one less box that I have to carry around. Actually, two less boxes if I can do math. So this guy looks like he might go there, but that would be ridiculous, apparently. He'll go right there. I don't know how this guy's going to fit in there. Apparently like that. And we got the crazy tree thing. Just like that. And spider lady. Hey, I did it. Look at that. I am wonderful. And this is supposed to... Oh no, that's supposed to be empty, isn't it? Um, this guy goes there. And this girl goes right there. Now I did it, hopefully. Um, those all look right, right? Sure, why not? There we go. That's right, that spot is supposed to be empty because the Earth Dragon is massive. And then we got some extra stuff here. And we can probably just throw that in with everything else. Well, that's everything, guys. Um, Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was okay. I hope I did an okay job. 
there's a lot of stuff to go over in this, and I know this ran a little bit long, but thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll uh, make sure that we get a playthrough of this for you guys. See you next time. Bye.